Hello everyone. Um, in this quick video today, we're gonna take a look at the right to left uh, support that's been introduced for both our Silverlight and WPF products. Now, this is a feature available for both components, component sets that we offer, but uh, for this demo, we're specifically gonna take a look at a Sil Silverlight example. So, let's take the grid control for example. Let's go ahead and drop it on the page here. Uh, and then, now let's take a quick look at the sample set of data that I've prepared here. Now, this isn't in Persian, but it's the Arabic text, so it's going to be um, a good example for a right to left, uh, for right to left support in our products. So let's go ahead and bind this to the grid control. Alright. Now, normally what we would do is um, say auto populate columns, right, and then run the application. And when it loads, you'll see that here it is. I've zoomed in, in previously so you can see the text. No, let's see the text clearly, but you'll see the columns are created, but um, again, it's not right to left, so we want to set this up so the grid actually displays displays the, the, the content in a right to left uh, manner. So we'll go ahead and um, do some customizations ourselves. Let's switch over to XAML view. We use refactor here to create an end tag for it. Now um, I'm gonna remove auto populate columns because I'm going to create columns myself so I can uh, so I can specify the column headers as well in, in, in a right to left language. So here are the columns. So basically we're substituting the field names with our own custom headers and I'll go ahead and Go an extra step here, just so it looks neater at runtime. So I'll specify the table view and set its auto width property to to true. So the columns are stretched to fill the entire width of the table. Now, finally, last step, we need to specify the flow direction. This is the most important part of it, right? So by default, it's left to right when it's not set. So we want it to be right to left. And now that should be all set and configured to display the text properly, the right to left content. And when it loads, see, the columns are, everything's aligned. The filter uh, menu is on this side next to the text. And of course, the text also shows up in here. There's the content, everything's aligned to the right. Uh, the indicator row is also on the right side. And of course, all the functionality will continue to be uh, there as well. The scroll bar also on the left side of, of the grid. So everything's uh, uh, reversed, essentially.